Hello there and welcome along to another of my vlogs. This is the new vinyl review. My name is Sean Rowley and welcome to my wonderful world of vinyl. Over the course of this particular episode I'm going to be doing some new vinyl reviews, a couple of new albums that have come out and a single that you will all know and love but is an exclusive vinyl remix that will be coming up at the end of this particular vlog. We're going to be doing these weekly by the way now. We've had uh, some really lovely responses to the ones that have been going up just recently and now we're going to roll up our sleeves and get dirty in the vinyl and we're going to be doing it as a weekly vlog. Oh by the way if you want to be reminded of each weekly episode of this particular vlog then make sure you are subscribing to the New Vinyl Review YouTube channel. Just hit the red button and you will be receiving a little notification each and every week that the new vlog is up and ready to be watched. Okay, on to the reviews. <laughs> um, there is a new album that has just come out by a chap called Matthew E. White. This is the album, Fresh Blood. And it's a beauty, and I wanted to share with you some of the joys of this particular album. Um, he first came to my notice, I think it was about just over two years ago, when I saw a YouTube clip of this guy, Matthew E. White, on stage. He's a man with a beard and long hair. He, he was on stage uh, at a performance in America, and uh, he was just a man transcending his unique performance, really, really wigging out on the guitar with a gospel choir singing behind him, performing barefoot in a white suit with long hair flowing. And then I was very happy to get hold of his debut album, which was the album The Big Inner. And just by way of a reference, any album that carries a picture of Lee Scratch Perry next to Dr. John on their front cover is going to be a record that I'm going to get excited about. So that was the first album. That was followed quite niftily by an EP which really, really went out there. This is great, this EP. Um, and now on the new album, the new album which is Fr Fresh Blood. There is not one track on this album that does not feature over 30 musicians, which might sound like it's swamping it out a little bit, but the arrangements are so incredible. The string arrangements, the percussion work, the brass arrangements, they're so incredible that you never have that sort of losing yourself within the sound of it. It's it, it, it sort of, I guess there's, there's an element of me describing it in the way that you would describe Phil Spector's Wall of Sound. And of course, by the way, uh, it was only a month or so ago that we did a review of Natalie Press's album, which is also on Space Bomb Recordings. You will notice, dear viewer, that there is a, a, a very particular style of the artwork as well that runs throughout all, all their releases, which is a nice thing. It reminds me of the sort of Blue Note albums of the 50s and 60s, where you could look at an album and go, yeah, I know that that's an album that's been made by those musicians. As for the songs on this particular album, they're bigger, louder, and groovier than the predecessors that have been released. So, let's have a listen. This is one of my particular favorites. This is a track called Vision. Nobody in this world is better than us. In this world is better than us. Nobody in this world is better than us. And nobody in this world is better than us. So, next up on the new vinyl review is an album that has recently appeared. It's the third solo album from Jose Gonzalez. 
It is entitled Vestiges and Claws. What that's all about, I'm not too sure. Um, he's, he's not a man who rushes his work, considering that this is the third part of an acoustic trilogy that started back in 2003 with the album Veneer. But some might say worth the wait. It sort of makes sense to me because Jose Gonzalez has got such a particular style. You know a Jose Gonzalez record as soon as as soon as that guitar strums in and the very soft light vocal comes on top and the stripped down percussion that follows in, you know you're listening to a Jose Gonzalez song. So it makes sense that you don't flood the market all of a sudden with loads of Jose Gonzalez albums because you probably get a little bit fed up with just the same old thing. But it's not just the same old thing because it is an album of absolute beauty, this. And um, in the years that he has been taking his, well, what one might think of as a sabbatical, it's hardly been doing that. He's been working on soundtracks such as the likes of Ben Stiller's uh, Life of the Secret Life of Walter Mitty and he's also been cropping up on quite a few tribute albums. He does, he's on a brilliant Arthur Russell tribute album that came out a couple of years ago. And in fact, his vocal style very much reminds me of the great Arthur Russell. I'm a, I'm a bit of a believer in the environment in which uh, an artist is brought up and spends its formative, his, his or her formative years will quite often influence the music that is being made by that artist. And in the case of Jose Gonzalez, he's actually Swedish, although his family were of Argentinian origin and they fled Argentina in 1976 and decided to take root in Gothenburg in Sweden. And it's known as a very small little city uh, that is beautiful in the summer, but pissing down with rain throughout the majority of the year, a coast, small little coastal town. And I think, I just think you get that sense of the rain, the melancholy of rainfall that seems to dominate a lot of Jose Gonzalez music. But then you get the, the sort of Latin flavor as well that comes through, which is the, the glory of the sun peeping out after a, the rainy seasons. Let's have a listen. Um, I'm going to pick the lead track on this, it's the track which is called With the Ink of a Ghost and as I've been saying it's sort of business as usual for Jose Gonzalez. So that's about it for this particular vlog episode. So I wanted to go out on a tune, a tune that we know and love. I'm assuming we love. I mean, I adore it. I just, I, I, have I got sick of it? I don't, I'm not turning it up when it comes on the radio, uh, but I, I'm certainly still playing it out in my DJ sets. And it was, of course, the monster record that was Uptown Funk by Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars. And um, I'm just literally bringing this to your attention because like me, you're a fan of the vinyl. And I wanted to point out that this is just, this has only just recently gotten released on vinyl. So and before this, it was only available as a download and, and a, a track on the album, the CD album. But this is the vinyl pressing of it. And you obviously get the single 
but on the flip side, you get something that is unique only to the vinyl pressing. You cannot get this as a download. It doesn't exist in any download stores. So the only way you're gonna hear it is by owning the vinyl of it. And it's a disco dub re-edit of Uptown Fun. Uh, so it's the remix itself has been put together by the Radio 1 and 1 Extra DJ Benji B and what he's done apparently and this is very much in keeping with the analogue details of it is he, he used tapes to do the mix he did it in a proper proper old school fashion whereby he he, he used reel to reel tapes and was cutting and splicing in order to make the edit which sort of makes it even more sense as to why you should be listening to it in its full glory on vinyl. Thanks for watching, goodbye.